Good morning. So you people who told us, who told me, who told my friends to drink the tea, I will not forget this, you understand? I'm sure you want to move on, but I will not forget this. If I had listened to you, I could be in hospital today, I could be dead. My brother listened to you, and then he died. I will not forget this. I understand that this is sort of frustrating. We keep reminding you of what happened. You don't like it, do you? And this is my vengeance. I will just keep reminding you of what happened and what you did. And today I want to add to that frustration of yours by reading a story. I can pick any stories, any of these stories. There's all, there are, there's so many of them. Uh, this is a story from a Swedish lady, young Swedish lady. She's a handball player. Okay, so here we go. This is the story. Uh, exactly one year ago, I took my second cup, PF, uh, that's the brand of the tea. What would have prevented me from becoming seriously ill instead gave me discomfort and physical problems that even today prevent me from playing handball and living the busy and fun life that I used to have. From playing handball at an elite level to not being able to take a walk. So we take it from the beginning. Just a few hours after I got the tea on August 19, 2021, I got very sick. For the next four days I was bedridden with fever, nausea, swollen tonsils and a terrible ache all over my body. Just to remind you what they said and what you said safe and effective. Remember? Safe and effective. You went on and on about this. Safe and effective. Right. Just wanted to remind you of this. Back to the story. After a few extra days of rest, it was finally time to return to training. The upcoming practices and the first two games of the season that week I knew it would be painful. Uh, she'd been sick. Every now and then, I don't understand why, but I bite the bullet and continue. I think that the body reacts like that after a few days of fever. I bury my head in the sand and try to close my eyes to the problems. But in the end, it doesn't work. Several times during training, I am forced to step off the court. The pressure on my chest, the breathing difficulties and the tingling sensation in my chest start to scare me. I saw a picture of this lady, young lady. She looks like 18. Stubborn as you are, I still decide at the end of the week to go to the match. I was completely set on everything being as usual. But my strong, fit body was no longer there. Already during the warm-up, the same terrible discomfort returned. I now struggled forward with a weak and powerless body. My legs went numb and eventually I could barely feel my feet. The next few days, weeks and months thereafter were training free from being a healthy, fit an energetic girl. I had a body that didn't even function in everyday life. In addition, throughout the year I had, I had great problems keeping myself from infections. So this is a year. She's talking about a year. Time and time again I get new colds, sore throats and coughs that can last for several weeks. Not only that, I have suffered from extreme lack of energy, had a racing pulse, severe dizziness, 
and fever attacks all at once. Right. A big challenge has been finding the right doctor to get the right help. There are several times I came to the doctor who treated me badly. As soon as it's brought up that this might be related to the tea, they quickly talk it off and claim that I feel the way I do because I suffer from subconscious anxiety and depression. Even though I repeatedly said I never had it, they insisted that it must be the cause. Doctors. Finally, I came to doctors who were well educated. Yeah, I know the doctors that she got in contact with. I know them. Yeah, well, I know about them. Swedish doctors who understand this thing. So she contacted them. Yeah. I came to doctors who were well educated and worked with patients with these problems, many with similar symptoms as me. With all the information I have received from the doctors this year, I have understood how many are affected. At the moment I am still fighting the dizziness and new infections that come and go. But the stamina and energy are slowly but surely starting to come back. For the first time in a year, I am starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I sincerely believe and hope that I can soon be back on the handball court with my team and be able to, to enjoy life. Right, so how did you like it? I will keep reminding you of this. You assholes who told us to drink the tea and said it was safe and effective. You assholes. All right, be good.